Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel A Monk in Cloud. In this video, I'm going to explain few of the AWS and Terraform related project ideas, right? So I have made a separate video on only AWS project ideas. So you can watch that video if you haven't. So you can try that first. So those are very beginner level projects that you can try and these are more complex compared to the previous projects that i have mentioned right so try that first so if you are if you feel that you are good with those projects come here and also try these projects i have personally tried all of them so it worked for me well right so i'm suggesting this project so that you can also learn along with me right so other than this if you have any project ideas you can drop them in the comment section it is I, I will i will be responsible for pinning those comments so that everyone else can look into those comments and learn from them right so without wasting much time let me delve into the project ideas that i have listed okay so here are some aws and terraform projects that you can work on to gain hands-on experience, right? So the first one would be to automate the infrastructure deployment. So basically that is the aim of the uh, project, basically. That is why we are using Terraform, right? So use Terraform to automate the deployment of simple infrastructure in AWS, including your VPCs, subnets, security groups, EC2 instances, S3 buckets, and so on and so forth. Right. First, so if you are planning to learn AWS and Terraform at the same time, what I would suggest you is learn a service. For example, today I am learning about VPC. Right. So come after completing the theory part, go ahead and try that out in the AWS console. Right. So deploy a VPC, deploy a default VPC, deploy a custom or uh, your own uh, custom VPC. Right. So give your own CIDR range, right? So after completing that next step, if you try this on Saturday, on Sunday, go ahead and deploy the same thing using the Terraform script, right? So then you would be learning both at the same time. So that is the first project that you can try. Next one is a load balancer and auto scaling group. So this is one of the important project that you can work on, right? So a bit of a complex, but not so complex. You can try this in, in half a day, right? So you, you should use Terraform to deploy a load balancer and auto scaling group in AWS to automatically scale a web application based on demand, right? You, uh, if you want to enhance this project instead of deploying a simple web application you can go ahead and deploy your own website or your own resume and to add on that you can also integrate that with your own domain name custom domain right so those then you can do that right these are some of the additional things that i am saying which is not there in the document okay next the third project that you can try is serverless web application. So you can use Terraform and AWS Lambda, right? So you can uh, use Terraform to deploy AWS Lambda, uh, API Gateway and S3 to build a serverless web application that can handle incoming HTTP request and store data in cloud. Right. So this one you can try out. It is very simple. Uh, you, you just have to have knowledge on AWS Lambda, API Gateway and simple Terraform scripts. You can always look for the Terraform documentation available. Or I have also made some tutorials on Terraform. Uh, if you see here under playlist, if you come here, Terraform plus AWS, I have uh, made around 10 videos. I, there are videos that are yet to be uh, you know, uploaded on this playlist. I would be doing that in, in some time. I'm pretty occupied with other things, so I'm not able to upload this video. Sorry for that. I would be uploading that in some time. Okay, so you can watch that also. Next. Fourth one is to deploy a multi-tier architecture. So this is one of the important thing that you can try out, right? So use Terraform to deploy a multi-tier architecture in AWS. It can be three tier or two tier, or if you want to go with microservices architecture, you can also go with that, 
right so you you can include web tier application tier database tier and you can uh, spin up ec2 instances rds and elv right so those things you can always try out so that is your fourth project i am i'm planning to make a tutorial on this a demonstration or a complete playlist dedicated for this you can expect that in coming days right so the fifth one is continuous integration and deployment so you you should use a terraform and aws code pipeline code build and code deploy to set up a ci cd pipeline for simple or sample application right so it can be a web application integrate aws code pipeline build and your terraform so if you deploy some terraform script it should go via aws code pipeline it should build that or it should deploy that right so it should deploy an application so that you can try out a similar kind of a project i have worked on and this is also there in my uh, playlist you can check that out somewhere here i think uh, this one create uh, infra using terraform and jenkins i have used jenkins as a ci cd tool but you can use uh, aws native tools like code pipeline code build and code deploy right so that would be your fifth project sixth one is a bonus one you can try out disaster recovery use terraform and aws to implement disaster recovery for a sample application including creating an ami that well, to get started you can uh, you know go with the uh, creation of ami amazon machine image and you can uh, extend it to uh, and you can the, the configuration of ec2 auto scaling group you can also work on that right so these are six projects that you can work on so if you have any other suggestions drop them in the comment uh, below so that everyone else can also look into it right so these are the projects that can help you build hands-on experience with terraform and aws and also provide a solid foundation for further learning and exploration in cloud computing and devops fields right so that's it i had for this video if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.